First of all, um, <clears throat> I want to thank the Turkish hosts and especially the role played by the Prime Minister and by our Turkish governors, uh, both the Deputy Prime Minister and the Finance Minister, Kanakshi. Uh, they really made this event happen and helped us make it happen. So we're very, very pleased and we want to thank them very much. Key, key messages from the annual meeting. I think the first thing is uh, the governors, there's a very strong sense from them of great enthusiasm, spirit, uh, and enjoyment, and a feeling that we were addressing the issues of the moment, that we were on the key issues. Uh, and the key issues, really, the issue we put on, to, on our banners, as you can see, innovating for growth. Uh, really, the focus was on how to kickstart growth. Uh, as uh, our chief economist will have explained, um, the growth rate expected for our country's operation this year has now dropped to 2.2% across all those countries. We're particularly concerned about the growth rate in Central and Southeastern Europe, but we also note that uh, countries that were relatively protected before, Russia, Turkey, Poland, have also seen their growth rates fall this year. So growth is a big concern, <clears throat> and um, that uh, is a concern because that number also implies uh, and has led to high unemployment uh, high youth unemployment and the social uh, and political and economic consequences that flow from uh, that factor. So growth uh, is, a, is a big issue and that's what we were really focused on. I think um, our uh, governors gave us very strong support to be as innovative as we can be while sticking to our business model. Uh, so the key issues we focused on were small and medium scale enterprises, how EBRD could ha do more uh, to help SMEs. SMEs, uh, many of them have a good track record on job creation and growth, so strong support for us to do more in that area. Uh, also, uh, strong support for us to try and find more infrastructure, good infrastructure projects, particularly regional infrastructure projects to help with regional economic integration. Uh, support for our uh, discussions now to, uh, to see if we can find innovative financing methods uh, to bring additional um, sources of finance to the EBID. Support also for us um, working on uh, e economic opportunity, essentially to do with underserved markets, whether it's for women, youth unemployment, underserved regions, uh, if the client uh, wishes that to happen. So that was all rather good and very well um, discussed in the Board of Governors meeting. This is a Board of Governors uh, round table meeting that happened yesterday, and all the feedback I've had from the governors who were there was that it was a very good uh, discussion. They felt it was a very lively, open discussion, one of the best, if not the best, they've ever been to. Uh, so I'm very pleased with that, and I want to thank our directors who helped formulate the questions that we asked our, our governors on that. Strong feeling that it's not just about more investment, that's very, very important. But it's also about uh, policies, the right investment climate. And uh, you know the usual list of things that countries need to do to improve their investment climate, so I won't list everything. Uh, but some of them are immediate sort of issues, tax, regulation sort of things. Some of them are more medium to longer term issues, the court system, commercial courts in particular. And some of them are more systemic issues, such as corruption. And uh, in this regard, um, I had a very good meeting, particularly with the Ukrainian authorities, uh, who, uh, the finance minister Kolobov, who very much welcomed the push we've given Ukraine and the help, the help it's given also reformist uh, elements in the administration and also businesses in Ukraine. I hope, and he hopes too, that we can come up with a full, fully fledged anti-corruption initiative by the summer. We also talked quite a lot here about how uh, EBID can work uh, well with other international financial institutions. It was no accident that we invited uh, EIB, IFC, uh, the Council of Europe Development Bank to sit on a panel yesterday afternoon with Chair Jonathan moderated um, to talk about some of the things we should do together. Uh, EIB came with I think 24 people in their delegation uh, as, a, as a testament really to their desire to work more closely with us. And I think it's very good. The relationship with, between EIB and EBRD has gone from strength to strength, I think, uh, and I'm really pleased about that. 
We have a joint action plan uh, in southeastern Europe with the World Bank Group and EIB. That's being delivered on schedule. There'll be a full-scale report on that uh, at, in October uh, uh, in Washington at the annual meetings of the IMF and World Bank. Uh, so I think IFE, IFI cooperation is going very well. Very important step yesterday uh, was the, uh, the Prime Ministers uh, from the new region, Prime Ministers from uh, Tunisia, Jordan and Egypt, uh, who were invited here uh, jointly by the Turkish Prime Minister and ourselves. Um, I thought they gave a very good presentation of uh, their challenges and what they're looking for from EBRD. Uh, that helps a lot uh, in, to frame the debate. And I should say that we have actually moved very quickly uh, in SEMED, as we call it. Uh, we've already um, signed 260 million worth uh, of euros worth of projects in just six months. Uh, the board has actually approved a larger number than that. Uh, and we're still waiting to sign a few projects after the board's approved them. So that's quite a good start. Um, we also were able to welcome our new member, Kosovo. Uh, you heard from Prime Minister Thatchi yesterday some brief remarks. Um, they're very pleased to be a member of EBRD and they already have a number of ideas for projects which we're working on with them. Uh, the private sector is approaching us uh, very strongly in Kosovo, so very pleased about that. Last couple of things for me to say, I think, um, the importance of being in Turkey. That uh, was a feature in, I think, in many of our discussions over the last couple of days. Turkey's uh, been very fast growing. It's, uh, for us, it's now the second largest uh, market after Russia. Um, and strong Turkey, of course, has quite a lot of importance for countries in our traditional region, but also in our new region as well, because of its geography, because of its commercial ties and historical ties with both uh, regions. So very important there to, to observe, really, what has been happening in Turkey. Finally, um, governors uh, strongly supported also the modernization program that the management team has been putting in place in EBRD.